I was asked to speak about a program called One Web Day. Um, so I'm representing thousands of students who celebrate One Web Day year-round, um, celebrating core values of the internet and openness of the internet. Um, the celebration is September 22nd, so it's coming up soon. And it's much like Earth Day, which was its inspiration to celebrate um, opportunities for communities everywhere, to celebrate the power of the web um, as a tool for positive change, and then also to take action to protect what is precious to us about the internet. Um, we're using this to educate um, the public and also policymakers about key social, economic, and political web issues. And at our university, um, students participate each year to have internet coffee parties. Um, they've made over 50 videos in the past two years, written blogs, conducted surveys, handed out t-shirts, pretty much every marketing ploy we could find. Um, but the day is all about digital inclusion. So last year's theme is One Web for All. Um, so it called attention to efforts that will ensure anyone who wants access to the internet um, will have that access to it. And one of the core values that's most important to those of us who do celebrate One Web Day that I'd like to raise is the idea of person-to-person -person sharing, um, because then you don't have that friction caused by intermediary forces. And by this, I mean the return of the middleman, um, which would cause you know bottlenecking and other burdens um, that would interfere with innovation and openness that's so important, especially to the younger generation. Um, there's a short video that we could watch, or I, I can just give you all the link to it, but essentially um, students are creating these videos to share with other students to celebrate how important the web really is because a lot of people don't understand um, the interworkings of the internet that we use daily and instead value the internet for its opportunities as an outlet um, for collaboration, um, expression, to talk to family, friends, fun. Um, so the students I work with each day wouldn't be able to do our daily assignments without that access to the internet. That's why One Web Day is so important to us to share, um, because people, especially in our generation, can take that time to reflect. One of our professors actually had a day where we were not allowed to use the internet, and every single student failed miserably within the first hour, because it's impossible to do the assignments. We didn't get to go on Facebook, and it just realized the vitality um, of the internet to us as a younger generation.